Welcome back to the course on design of power electronic converters. We were discussing electromagnetic interference. We saw what is electromagnetic interference, what are the reasons or that power electronic converters are considered as a big source of uh, electromagnetic problems. Then we also saw the various standards uh, that has to be followed to make uh, power electronic converters uh, electromagnetically compatible. And uh, then we also further saw some of the solutions which can be used at the design stage so that the problem of uh, EMI can be reduced from very beginning. So uh, now let us see EMI filters. EMI filters are the ones which are used to reduce the conducted emissions. Now irrespective of uh, what uh, solutions at the level of uh, power electronics design are taken to reduce the level of EMIs, almost all converters require an EMI filter to be able to meet the EMC standards. So let us uh, have a brief uh, introduction to EMI filters. So to understand EMI filters, we have uh, to first get familiarized with common mode chokes. These are pictures of uh, common mode chokes. Now this is actually an inductor. So uh, you may be wondering that uh, what is the difference between an inductor and uh, this uh, what is being called as a common mode choke. So you uh, as you see here uh, there is a toroidal core. And then uh, on that there are two coils. So if on this you are not able to understand whether there are two coils or not in this picture, in this picture you sh it, sh it is very clear because you can see these four terminals coming out. And uh, if we have to represent it uh, symbolically, so this is how it is uh, represented. That means uh, two coils uh, which are coupled to each other. And uh, the winding is such that, uh, that the dots are uh, over here uh, both uh, at this point where the current enters the dot in both of these coils. So if, if we have uh, to understand that what happens inside these, uh, if, if we see the flux picture, so uh, now when we talk about uh, common mode currents, then uh, we saw that your common mode currents, uh, the current direction is same for uh, both the line as well as the neutral and it returns uh, through the ground. Whereas your differential mode current, it, uh, its direction is opposite for line and the neutral. That means it, if it is in forward direction for the line for the neutral it will be in the reverse the opposite direction. So now if the same common mode and differential mode currents have to pass through this kind of a choke a common mode choke then let us see what happens in the flux. So if the current directions are same so here in this one if you see that. The current directions are same the way these are wound. This is the flux produced by one winding and this is the flux produced by another winding. And what you observe is that they both aid each other. So if they are going to both aid each other, so that means for the currents which are going to be in the same directions, then uh, uh, those currents will see an inductance because of this toroidal core. Now let us see what happens for the differential current. So differential currents are going to be opposite. So if over here this is the forward direction of current, so the flux produced by it is in this direction and uh, your clockwise direction and uh, here the current is opposite. So the flux uh, that is produced by it is in also opposite direction in anti-clockwise direction. So now what you see is that these two flux are opposite to each other that means they tend to cancel out each other. So therefore if the differential mode currents when they are passed through these common mode chokes uh, uh, they 
will not see any inductance. So, effectively I mean ideally 0 inductance, but since uh, these kind of uh, cores any practical inductor will have some leakage. So, the differential mode currents will definitely uh, be uh, reduced by the leakage inductance, but it will be otherwise be unaffected by the main inductance of the common mode choke. Whereas, if we see for the common mode currents, the common mode currents they are going to be attenuated or reduced significantly because of the common mode chokes. So, therefore, what we observe is that, that these common mode chokes they will be able to reduce the level or to certain extent can be used for filtering of common mode currents, but uh, to a great extent they are almost invisible to the differential mode currents or they do not affect the differential mode currents so much. So, common mode chokes can be used for filtering of common mode currents. And also one thing when you actually practically buy a common mode choke or you, or you make one, uh, you will see that, uh, that relatively much larger values of inductances can be made uh, for com as common mode choke. If uh, you have to make let us say 1 milli Henry uh, 30 ampere common mode choke, uh, the size of that will be much uh, smaller as compared to uh, uh, 30 ampere 1 milli Henry normal inductor. And the reason is that, that the rating 30 ampere and uh, that uh, inductance is associated with the common mode currents which are going to be relatively much lesser. The, this 30 ampere the differential mode currents they will be cancelling out. So, uh, uh, mistakenly when you actually practically design it uh, sometime uh, uh, those who are absolutely new they buy those common mode chokes and then they think that that can be used as uh, your normal inductance also, but uh, that is not true. So, please uh, be careful common mode chokes are meant for your uh, common mode for reducing the common mode currents and uh, not for uh, giving an inductance to the, to the normal current or what you can call as the differential mode currents. Then another uh, component uh, which is very much used for your EMI filters is your X and Y uh, capacitor. So, uh, now what is this X capacitor, Y capacitor? I, you know that there is capacitor and you also might be knowing that there are different types of capacitor, electrolytic film capacitors, ceramic capacitors and so forth. Now, what is, what are these X capacitors and Y capacitors? Now, X capacitors are the ones which are used uh, for your filter, filtering of differential mode voltages and currents. So, so that is your x. So, that means it will be put between the line and the neutral. Where is uh, your uh, y capacitors? Uh, they are placed uh, between your ground and the line or the neutral. So, so these are your y capacitors whereas, this is your x capacitor. Now, X capacitor could be like a normal um, your film capacitor or it may be having some uh, special features in designing it, but Y capacitors when they are manufactured or designed then they uh, special um, your precautions have to be taken because uh, your uh, those are uh, meant to be put between the line and the the ground or the neutral in the ground. And uh, this is the point uh, where uh, your any operator can touch it because as I told you this is the JC ground and it is like the ground which is connected to the metallic enclosure of the converter and so you may happen to touch it or the operator may happen to touch it and so safety is very important there and uh, these um, will be carrying those common mode currents. And so, therefore, uh, these cannot exceed a certain value. There are restrictions on how much could be the Y capacitor values and also special uh, precautions are taken to manufacture or design these Y capacitors. 
So, let us see an EMI filter, how does it look inside? So, this is an example of a pi type EMI filter, pi I am telling because uh, you can see that this is C, L and C uh, topology which is used for the filter. Now, this is your power electronic converter which is the source of the EMI and from here is the supply uh, uh, will be coming. And then uh, this is the equivalent circuit of the listen, the line impedance stabilization network. So, uh, I mean when you practically use it then you will not be putting a listen, but when you will be measuring your EMI, conducted EMI, uh, then you will be using a listen. So, that is why this equivalent circuit is shown here. Now, over here up till this and the filter side this 50 ohm impedances will be observed because this I have explained to you before that usually the terminations are for 50 ohm from the spectrum analyzer and then the way the listen is uh, made the impedance is chosen as such that the equivalent impedance uh, when uh, you see from the filter side it turns out to be 50 ohms. So, you can see that this is your 50 ohm impedances uh, resistance between your line and ground and neutral and ground. So, now this is your uh, C in 2 and C in 1. So, these are your X capacitors used for filtering the uh, differential mode noise and then these you can see here these are the Y capacitors and these are put between your the ground and the line and the neutral and the ground. And this is the common mode choke LCM these are coupled to each other. So, they would not be filtering the differential mode currents, but they will be filtering out the common mode noise. And then uh, we also have to put some filter on the differential mode noise and so therefore, L also has to be there for a differential mode uh, noise. So, that is that LDM which is kept for uh, both of uh, them both for the line and the neutral. Now, it is always uh, better to put it on both the lines rather than just uh, putting on the line and not on the neutral. Okay, so, but this practice is used in many places that you will see that the inductance can be divided and put on both on the, the forward path and the return path. So, uh, what will happen now here is that when your these currents enter, so currents over here uh, this will be the normal current will be entering here and it will be uh, leaving here and it will be having your uh, this I1 will have uh, both uh, your ICM and your differential mode currents. And uh, here I2 whatever is the return current it will have the negative of the differential mode current and the same positive common mode current will be there. And uh, so, your uh, this uh, capacitor will first uh, filter out some of the uh, these uh, um, uh, currents, uh, this differential mode uh, uh, noise and then this will be filtering the common mode noise and then again this will be filtering your differential mode noise. And uh, then further this is for these Y capacitors are for filtering the common mode noise. And to the differential mode uh, it appears that this two uh, C Y can be uh, considered as a series connection of two capacitors uh, which what the differential mode noise will be observing. And uh, further we have uh, these damping resistors and capacitors because we want to avoid the problem of resonance. Obviously, whenever you are using a filter it will have resonating frequencies and uh, then that can make uh, the entire system unstable because whatever the controller that is uh, going to be designed for this power electronic converter usually though uh, the time at which the controller is designed at that time this filter is not selected. So, uh, then many times people design the controller of the converter without the filter and then when you add the filter you do not want to make the system unstable because this both of these two are then a, a part of the same system and 
affects the dynamics of the power electronic converter. So, that is why your damping is required and your these two um, are for damping your R damp and C damp. So, now let us uh, look into the equivalent circuit uh, separately for your differential mode and uh, common mode now. So, if you see for the differential mode uh, what will happen between the line and neutral those 250 ohm resistors will add up and you will see a 100 ohm resistor. And uh, uh, what you will observe here is this uh, C into the X capacitor and the sum of the X plus uh, the 2 uh, uh, Y capacitors which will be in series. So, that is why it will become half C Y by 2 and this remains same. And uh, then this is uh, your uh, the inductance that will be seen by the differential mode noise will be the sum of the leakage of the common mode choke plus uh, twice of the differential mode inductance that is put. So, uh, so, this is what the equivalent circuit will be and this n is going to be the reference for analysis of the differential mode noise and, and the filter how much the filter is affecting or uh, attenuating the differential mode noise. Then if we see the equivalent circuit same for your common mode noise. So, uh, what uh, we will observe is that uh, since this is going to be the ground or the chassis ground. So, therefore, uh, the two resistances so will appear as in parallel and so we will have the resistances as 25 ohms. And uh, it will be like uh, uh, you are an LC filter instead of a pi filter for your differential mode noise. Uh, in differential mode noise we saw that, that this is like a pi filter, but for common mode noise we see that this is like an LC filter. So, uh, here uh, uh, you um, it will be sum of 2 LCM plus uh, LDM by 2. So, half of the inductance it will become because now it the same current is flowing through both line and neutral. So, it is like a parallel connection that is happening and then you have uh, 2 capacitances uh, 2 C Y that you will be able to uh, um, see if you uh, make the equivalent circuit. So, um, now uh, using these equivalent circuits uh, the um, your uh, filters can be analyzed and also it can be observed that uh, that how effective the filter is in attenuating the common mode noise and the differential mode noise. And then um, accordingly the filter can be designed. So, the designing the filter means so you have to choose these values of uh, Cx, Cy, uh, LCM and LDM. So, those values then can be chosen by uh, analyzing these equivalent circuits. Now, let us see what uh, could be the different types of filters that can be used um, as EMI filters. One could be just a simple C that can be used because C itself also acts like a filter. Now, if you see uh, do the impedance plot of it means impedance versus the frequency then uh, you know that that your impedance of a capacitor it uh, reduces as your frequency increases. So, uh, then um, uh, something which is uh, having a high source impedance with that it will be better to use a C capacitor. Similarly, your L filters can be used filter which is just using an inductor and uh, they are uh, uh, you know that if you plot the impedance versus frequency it will be increasing at 20 dB per decade because your uh, impedance of an inductance um, it increases with frequency. Then as uh, your EMI filter it could be also just a CL uh, uh, type of filter can also be used. Then your LC filters can also be used for uh, EMI uh, purpose. We also saw this LC filter gets formed in the equivalent circuit of uh, when the same uh, filter is being um, uh, analyzed I mean equivalent circuit is drawn for your common mode noise. So, LC filters can also be used. Then this pi filter structure your C, L and C that can also be used for your 
um, uh, for AMI filters and uh, of course, these type of T filters where you have L, C and L they are also used for your AMI applications. So, there are different types of uh, filters uh, topologies are there and uh, then depending on the need one filter uh, circuit can be chosen and then the values of L and C can be decided based on uh, the analysis of the filter. So, when we say the analysis of the filter you have uh, to write down the equations then you have to uh, plot uh, what is called as the insertion uh, loss or the attenuation plot can be done and uh, from there uh, the filters can be designed. Now, how to design a filter that we will not be covering in this course here. I will just uh, look into the basic terms so which are important for uh, you to uh, uh, choose one filter that may be already existing. So, the key points of uh, this lecture are that your common mode chokes and X and Y capacitors uh, these are used to make AMI filters and uh, these filters uh, they filter out both uh, common mode and differential mode noise and there are different uh, filter topologies and based on the requirement uh, a particular filter topology can be selected. Thank you.